what is going on boys and girls of youtube hitting you with the mid gameplay today not only is it the mid gameplay my boy in the comments asked for merlin for almost an entire month straight i tried to get the game earlier it didn't work out I recorded the game just it would be a good game but it, it just didn't work out it is what it is but this game is going to work out how do i know i don't I'm willing it into existence it's happening ah. so with merlin right now in the meta i'm gonna be honest with you if you love playing it do your thing he's nowhere near bad in any way shape or form right like like he's a good god good mid laner but he gets absolutely destroyed d de destroyed by so many people there is a chance that with a build coming up things change and you know what just for the sake of its possibility with this patch hitting in i think the patch hits in like two weeks or a week and a half uh i'll run Hi. i'll run that build i'll run what the potential build is going to be luck, and it's gonna be a little spicy it's gonna be a little different but a lot of people are thinking this could become super meta um it'll make really mages right now are struggling i know that for sure like regular straight mages a lot of them are having difficulty in the current meta because junglers do so much damage the dive is there warriors do so much damage guardians do so much damage you get dope and you just it's you running or you dying now with this build coming up book of the dead's getting a massive buff right and with book of the dead buff comes ma mana builds with mana builds comes book of thoth comes breastplate of valor right become uh, just a big old hello okay this guy's trolling me. Our clears doo doo because he's trolling me. I'm so sad. Uh, but yeah, so this is more, it's almost like a, a book build or a blue build similar to. Similar to the, uh, the was it Man Ray build or something like that? Dirty Bubble build. That's what it was. Similar to the Dirty Bubble build that we once had. So it's like a, a super tanky survivability ton of cdr mage build essentially and i'm not guaranteeing it's going to be meta but a lot of people seem to think it's possible i am one of those people that also thinks it's possible because i played against the build on pts and it hurts i'm just focused on clearing here notice how yes he is walking into it because he's dumb the fender but my teammate is doing his thing and i'm just making sure the wave gets cleared i wonder if he'll go on me I don't think he will. I think they're going to give these up. Got a lot of damage off. He should die. And we're good. So I just kind of kited in. I wanted the peel for the Ravana there. So I kited in instead of away. And then uh, as soon as my Ravana had that kill, I went back towards him to make sure I was safe. I don't know what that guy's doing. I think he was going to try to kill me. I'm pretty sure he wanted to run at me right there. That would have been really questionable. Sadly, our Bacchus died and we did not get the first blood. My Ravana could have been a chonky boy right now. Very chonky. I could have rotated over those back camps, but the Ravana is wasting his time. Ravana should have gone to, gone to his back left to just farm, focus on farm, because with that lead, he could extend it pretty far. Um, since he did, doesn't extend it and go farm properly, the Fenrir gets a mid wave and is actually pretty much on par with my Ravana. My Ravana should easily win all those trades, though. He's just kind of running them down. Ooh. A little bit of damage there from the Persephone. He got a kill. Nice. I do got to be a little quite careful here. My goal here is to stand swap and not miss a wave. Actually, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to let the wave push to the tower and go help my boy. This is really greedy what I'm doing. You can see the Persephone is even leading towards me. Just trying to be smart and safe. He is out of position. I think he just died. If he has a root, nice. Nice try. Now we get a lot of pressure back. Nice, dude. You're insane. Let's go, baby. All right, my mid is gigantic now. Or sorry, not my mid. I'm used to jungling. My jungle is gigantic now. All right, yeah, yeah, we're going to back off here and try not to die to the Fenrir, who is super far behind. We're almost level five. Uh, we're pretty close to getting Book of Thoth online, kind of-ish. Close enough. We're in a really good place, basically, is what I'm trying to tell you. Oh, it's nuts, man. It's funny because if you have a aggressive, smart jungler paired with an aggressive, and I don't mean God-wise, I mean like player, an aggressive, smart jungler paired with an aggressive, smart, like... Just somebody who wants to be aggressive but doesn't want to be over aggressive in the mid and the jungle roll together. You do work 
in this mid lane in the early game like you just destroy kids in this uh this mid lane in the early game uh, i wonder if the lefts are gone and just for merlin we want to i want to talk a little bit about the stances so you have three stances and essentially how i personally look at the three stances is if you're being dove the fire stance is your self peel and you self peel through damage so you'll swap in a fire stance when they're on top of you you do a ton of damage and then you're able to just drop you two on top of yourself and you're able to one the person and they're pretty much just burning the entire time right like they die you, you kill them super fast while doing that your void stance what i'm in right now it's almost like a setup stance, if that makes sense. He is out of position. Nice job. Um, it's almost like a setup stance where you want to use it to start a fight, to get a little poke off, to be able to just prep your team to get into the fight, right? Because if you hit a good pull or your team hits something and you hit a ooh, that was weird. You hit a good pull off of your team, it is a lot of damage and a lot of disruption. So it's super valuable. I am very surprised that red's not up. We'll clear one more wave and then go to red. And then your frost stance is kind of an in-between. It's almost like your standard mage stance is what I would call it. Uh, essentially, it's going to have a little bit of self-peel. It's going to have good range damage. It's going to have consistent damage as well as burst through the one. And then the twos are consistent damage. It's just got a, you got a really solid kit, right? Like that kit is just very, pretty good at everything and not great at one specific thing. I will say it has like the, the more bursty option in the one than all the other stances so when you're looking at your fights your positioning it's kind of almost you're running up to a phoenix or you're running up to a fight that hasn't started yet void stance probably gonna be your better option if you're being dope fire stance and if it's just a slow fight you're probably looking at your frost stance oh dang oh not today not today buckaroo he's setting up his little garden here the boy setting up his garden okay okay and out of position. I don't really know. This guy's like doing some weird stuff. Do not do whatever this Persephone is doing. I'll be honest with you. He's actually just letting me kill him. When he jumps here, we're going to kill him. And, oh, I missed an auto. I really want to go. And we got him. It's crazy. Who's feeding? My duo lane is getting clapped. That's what, that's what it is. Oh, no. I think he baby raged. No, please. Please don't baby rage on me, Persephone. You're 0 and 4. Just play it out, Buckaroo. And then the duo lane dies at that exact moment. Rough. This has been happening on most of my Merlin games. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I've been very, very far ahead of every single mid laner. Oh, he came back. Nice. Okay. So he didn't baby rage, which is which is a positive. My back just got canceled. I think those rights are up as well. So he didn't baby rage, apparently. They pause, he's back. So we're back in action. This has been happening a lot of games though. I'm not gonna lie to you. A lot, a lot of games. So next up is the breastplate. We are going the breastplate because it gives us CDR and it gives us a lot of mana. And we're building into Book of the Dead. Now, right now, it's only 20%. When this build uh, is the better, the build I think will be super viable. It'll be 30%. This changes to 30% in the next patch. It's a big fatty shield. It's very difficult to kill you. It's just kind of another survivability build for mages, similar to the Stone of Fall. What if those go through and kill my red buff? That'd be crazy. So if it does become a meta option build, will be really crazy and this will be your first look at it and your your way of hopefully learning it and knowing it ahead of time um like i said i played against it on pts and it is really frustrating to play against it's very hard to kill it still does a lot of damage the one thing you lack is pen but if you look at the spl builds in the mid lane they're going ob shard super late anyway so it doesn't even matter it, it really isn't a big deal what is this guy doing i feel like i could kill him myself level seven Ooh, I don't know what's happening. I'm very uncertain of what is going on. Got a little bit of damage off. Nice job. Ooh. They got a gank in the solo lane, but they got killed in the ride. So whenever you're uh, being run at, I'm going to clear the next wave and be super greedy here. Whenever you're playing mid lane and all the fights keep happening in your lane, like that, the other team's running at you, just sit back like I did. Run back to your tower. Do a little return damage. Don't just watch, because if you're not doing return damage, you're going to lose all pressure, and that's not a good thing. 
um but don't overcommit. don't force the fight don't do anything you don't have to do basically just play smart play safe play slow you'll be good to go it's just rhymed i don't know why i do that randomly on complete accident uh, we're just focused on getting our book of thaw stacks up and really don't want to do any heavy fighting unless it's an objective that is in our favor or we have the book of the dead online the book of the dead is a huge pickup this dude's playing really far up he's getting babysat by the geb and i don't think the geb got any xp there so he's gives actually playing it smart to get him back into the game oh cancel his rollout let's nice try very close very very close yeah remember your your stance swap your ultimate has a knockback on it tons of burst damage that geb is getting destroyed kill him oh my gosh i couldn't get my one off there he would have died that sucks nice good kill the duo my geb almost or my buck almost got them too I'll take it. That was a fight we didn't have to do. But I just got stunned at the most perfect time from them. We're gonna have our breastplate online now, though. So if we had CDR there, if we had our breastplate online, it's Jeej. Like our abilities would have been up earlier. We would have been able to swap and dive a little bit earlier. Would have been free. We're in a good place though. Like I said, any fights now are not optimal and not ideal. So if we trade or we almost get a good fight out of it, it's perfectly fine. It's not a big deal. My Bacchus can't hold the wave for me, so I'm just going to clear these backs. Clear the backs and move on. Mm -hmm. We're going to wait to stand swap so we can burst down this red buff a little bit quicker. We're just going to go into fire stance. We'll save our two for the wave clear. Should be good. Remember, you do put a dot on them when you're burning with your one. And actually, is your stand swap a dot as well? I always forget that. Yeah, it has fire tick damage. It's really, really nice. So we have 30% CDR at this point in the game. We have 1,800 mana, so we do get that Book of the Dead. It's going to be sick. I didn't get in range, unfortunate. Unfortunate. Full wave clear, though. I'd like to set up myself to get some deeper wards and then try to get more farm. I try to get more aggressive farm. Like go into their jungle, take some back camps or something at this point. Might be able to get a gank off here, though. Yep, yeah, never mind. He knows. Bach has probably walked over a ward. Geb's holding the mid wave. Our red's up and no, our red's not up anytime soon. <laughs> Trolling. There's uh, Fenner ult, so we don't have to worry about that for the next team fight. Nice job. They're getting crushed over there. This Robin is huge. He's eight and one now off the start. He only has 300 more gold than me. Because jungle, but he's huge. It's crazy, just that one fight. Remember, the, it all stemmed from him getting that early, the early kills, which was from them jumping on him, him running away, me running at them and doing damage. Oh, I thought I was in a different stance, actually. Oh, I'm dead, dude. Overcommitment there. Overcommitment. My Bacchus uh, tried to eat the all for me. It just wasn't enough. Oh, kill. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, he's gonna throw his whole lead. Sorry, my leg is just scratching my leg. He just threw his entire lead and box missed his ability. That's what we didn't want to happen. That's the fighting I was talking about avoiding. We are gonna get an Aegis here. Help us survive in situations like that. The cripple from Persephone is mad annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Plus his bone rush somehow did 800 damage. Oh, he hit me twice. He has full CDR, that's why. His build is I guess ideal for him right now, but in the long run, he's be, like here pretty soon. He's gonna be doing way less damage than me and everyone else in the game. All right, we just throw our whole lead. We're actually down in gold, mainly because my dual lane is 0 and 1 and 6. That's rough. I'm not even gonna run to the mid lane right now. I'm just gonna let it be. Clear our backs, clear our red. Then we'll go to midway for the next wave. We're on par with Persephone still. It's just we're super, super far behind overall. Our duel in is struggle busting. Honestly, Box's positioning isn't bad at all either. It's mainly just his uh, use of abilities. We're going to start using our frost stance a little bit more because they're being aggressive on us. So we'll go fire frost or frost in the fire. Most fights we're being dove. And if we're not, we'll just play super slow. We do have a good amount of CDR ourselves. Almost fully stacked our Thoth. I'm hoping pretty soon they give Thoth something for fully stacked, like another stat, you know, like a transcendence. Get. CDR or something online. 
I'd love to be aggressive on this guy, but it's just pointless. Trying to make sure no gold gets pulled or done. I wish I could dash around aggressively, but the cooldown of your dash is way too long to be using aggressively. Nice kill. It's big to kill a duo in. I think the mid's about to gank them, yep. Saw that one coming, which is fine. We'll get farm on the way out. Uh, this could be really good, actually. They're not really... Geb is missing his everything. There's a knock-up, nice. A dash is almost back up. Dang it, I just messed, up, messed my abilities. It sucks. Thought he was going to run. We'll just farm. We'll take all the farm we can. Fender's in left. Alona's doing really good over there, honestly. Check the purple. Not up. We're going to go snag this wave. We are dashing aggressively now. Like, they're they're dead. They're on the other side of the map. I'm just farming. Just trying to farm it up. Going to go snag the purple from the CERN. I understand we are taking a little bit of his XP away, but honestly, with the route this game is going, I want to get to late game as soon as possible and get this Book of the Dead online. And if I can do that, I'll be way more tanky. I'll survive way more of these fights being in the mix of all the AoE damage, and we'll be, we'll be winning. Team will start winning much, much easier, I guess, would be the way I put it. This Robin is huge, but he's actually behind in gold. That's or not behind in XP. That's crazy. And we're way ahead. We're on par with the Hades, on par with the Danza, on par with our Bologna. Just grabbing everything. That's all, by the way, like mid lane and ADC. Yes, being part of these fights early is a good thing to do. But if you're losing farm, it is not a good thing to do. Your whole goal is to get full build and to get late game before everyone else. If you can do that, you're probably going to win. If you ever go into a fight with a finished item that the other team doesn't have, you're probably going to win. And Bacchus is letting me farm, so he's the homie. Oof. Oh, here's the guy baby again. Gonna blink that. Oh, that. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, my gosh. This Geb won't leave me alone. I need a ward. He's got five kills. <laughs> Did he get to kill me? He didn't even get to kill me. That's crazy. We're gonna get a free kill on the Fender here. Nice. Hey, we got our Book of the Dead, though. So now we will have... Uh, we would have lived, basically, through that if we'd have backed. Nice job, guys. I'm actually not gonna buy a health potion here. I'm gonna buy a counter ward. They're really, really focused on me. Get out of there, Bacchus. Get out of there, Bacchus. Oh, no. My ADC died again? Rough. I'm surprised he's dying so much. Oh, his build actually fully makes sense. That's not good. All right, this game just got a lot harder. We're down 3,000 gold with no objectives being really done. We took the only pyro. We're still down 3,000 gold. Going to slow down my play. Gonna, that's why I bought the counter ward. We're going to counter ward. We'll play back. Definitely not going to get aggressive on the Persephone knowing the Geb is going to babysit him. And somehow we have to kill this Danza. I think my Bologna can handle the Danza, which is good. Like our, our our actual dive into the Danza and the Persephone is not bad at all. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Gonna get Oracle. Oracle control from here on out is massive. It's been massive for like the last five minutes, but because their ADC isn't trying to do objectives, this is one of those. This is a good learning tool too. Notice how their ADC is level 18. The ADC is the biggest person in the game. He is 1v1ing the enemy ADC over and over again, but he's not doing objectives. So this is what I imagine when I people come in and ask me questions like, hey, weekend, I went 20 and one today and I couldn't win. What should I do different? Objectives. Getting kills don't have any, doesn't have any meaning. It doesn't, kills don't win you games. Objectives win you games. Yes, objectives are way easier to get if you have a kill, but if you're getting a kill and not doing the objective, it doesn't matter, right? It's all you have to do is go for objectives and make sure they're your priority. Oh no, this is such a bad fight to be taking. Damn it. That's really bad. Actually, I'm good. Okay, I'm not good. Oh, that was a really good play. They're all dead. Nice. Really good play from Bacchus there. Kill him. You got this. Nice. You're good to fight that Fen here. You have a three level lead. You're huge. Oh, the Hades is there though. He's in a, in a bad. Oh no, everyone's dying. All right, jungle solo. Let's see what they can do. Bologna up downs. It's a good up down, honestly. If Ravana, Ravana's dead. He got caught with no abilities up. All right, we're gonna build in a pen next. It's gonna be the Obsharm. Oh my gosh. Did he get a pen? No, no, no. He got a. 
You got a quadra, right? I think you got a quadra. Because the Persephone. Wait, did the Persephone get a Penta? Nope. Never mind. I'm trolling. They're going for gold or just tier two? They're super low. You know they're going for tier two? A little greedy, sticking around for a long time. They shouldn't get this because they don't have an ADC. We're going to rush to this as fast as possible. Try to get in this. Oh, block the tower shots. Block the autos. Block the autos. Block the autos. They're going to get this. Oh my gosh. That's disappointing. Kill him? Wait, what? He just ran away with no health. Why are you running away? Eh, it's whatever. We need to defend fire for sure. Strabakis, appreciate you. Gonna prep for the goal. This is annoying, man. I rotated into that fight to help them. They ran off to the left, which is away from pretty much the whole team, which is not the right choice. And then the Danza just runs at me down to the tier two. He dies for it, which is huge. I got a lot of gold off of that, but that's mad annoying. Super, super annoying. Just collecting our farm, getting full builds. We fell behind because we died at the very start of that fight. Like we did get the kill on the Danza, which is huge. That's big plays. Definitely helpful. All right. They're looking at gold. We want to get knocked away there. All right. I don't know why Bacchus isn't here yet. Nobody's really here. This is bad. See if we can get in on that. A good amount of damage off. Trying to kill this Geb. If the Geb dies, we win the fight. I don't know if we're gonna kill him though. I'm gonna try to blink in front of him when he dashes. Nice. This is bad though. We might end up uh, losing this. Not him, but I have to run. If you saw the Hades and the Fenrir are really healthy in the back. We're in a bad spot. He's probably gonna catch us pretty quick. Oh, they're not running for us. Nice. We're gonna back. Get our off shard online. Hopefully Venner doesn't leap over the wall here. Venner's a really good pick into me as well. The dive is just very, very easy for him to do. Four, four, and four. That was a really split fight as well. I wanted to focus the Geb. This Geb is huge, right? He's five and three. He's level 16. He is maybe not the biggest threat in terms of damage, but if he's alive the whole fight, we won't kill anybody. We are literally just not going to kill anybody. And that is not what you want. We needed to be at that gold earlier. That was really the biggest issue was the fact that my jungler was the only one that got to go in by himself. They were running at me. My ADC didn't run at them. My Baka or Bacchus wasn't there yet. I don't know why he went for oracles. We can burn this very, very quickly. We have two regular wards here. It's just awkward. Free, nice job. That's a really good job of my uh, Ravana to listen to the calls and grouping up. I need to get more wards. I really don't want to miss any farm. I don't want to put myself out of position again because I know they're going to run at me, but I need to get so much more farm online. Our last items. So you're going to want to go into Pendulum of the Ages because it's going to give you to cap CDR as well as you just have more power all the time because your stack's so high in mana. And then your last item is Soul Reaver. You just want more pen. Or not, sorry, not more pen, more, more mana. You want all the mana online as possible. We're going to go into the Pendulum next because the CDR is important. Defend, defend. I want to defend our wards. Uh, oh, shoot. That was weird. He just got shredded. Oh, no, I messed played. Press the wrong button. I don't know why I did that. That was like a huge misplay. I need this to die. I need this to die. I need this to die. This is not good. If he dashes, I might go for the... No, no this Geb is just so tanky, dude. Geb, I get it. You tank. No, they're so that was huge. They just had a massive team fight. We need to group and stop getting picked. Oh, so rough, dude. Bologna's not tanky enough to be trying to like full 1v1 in the back. Oh, we think we might lose. Well, wow. that's game. That's crazy. 
That's crazy. So that was fully on this CERN being off to the side. He knows everyone's around fire, right? If you know everyone's around fire, you can't just separate yourself from the team. You have to ward and you have to play back around the team or stuff like that happens. All my Merlin games have been going like this. We either, they surrender early around when that like Persephone DC'd or my duo lay just can't, I mean, they went four and 15. Um, and I, I, that was like a 20 some minute game, right? Like a 24 minute game. If your duo lane's doing that and they don't, learn in the late game to group and stay around your team you're probably not gonna have good matches it is gonna be very difficult i mean you have a geb rotating out the geb had like five kills and 10 assists when he killed me that one time what did he end up with he went five three and 16. that one time he killed me i mean we couldn't do anything to him look at his damage was higher than his junglers he wasn't even really warding that much he was just doing everything he needed to do it was a rough game that was a really really rough game oh it sucks well Sometimes it happens. You cannot win every game. It is not possible. I have tried so hard to get these Merlin games online. That is the ideal build I'll end up running though. Uh, like I said, we'll run the Soul Reaver as the last regular item and we'll run the Pendulum. And that build is gonna pump. You saw how much damage I was doing just in general and I'm able to spam my abilities a lot more. It is what it is. Sucks that that game didn't work out. I really, their Geb was super MVP that game. He was playing amazing and they absolutely slaughtered my duo lane. So that's gonna happen. So hopefully you guys liked the video. I realize it's not a win. I realize it's not a ton of kills. I hope you guys get to learn something out of it. That is the overall goal for me. Like I want you guys to learn from these videos. I will see you all. Actually, make sure you subscribe to the like button. I will see you all in the video later tomorrow, the next day, the next day, the next day, and the next day.